we're going to continue with the visualization uh the next thing we're going to be doing is building this uh pillars over here so what we're going to do is to take a look at the length we we're going to work on this one first okay so let's get over here i'm going to go into edit mode of this wall over here and i'm going to go into vertex select mode take this vertex take that vertex press shift and d to duplicate it right click to keep it in place and i'm going to press f to fill it and now what i'm going to do is to press e and then z extrude this all the way down and I want to take this vertex as the uh, last selection. Make sure the uh, pivoting point is set to active element. I want to press S and Z and type in zero. And I want to make sure I select only that uh, face over there. I'm going to press P and separate the selection. I want to go out of edit mode, take this, and uh, let's go back into edit mode. First, let me apply a scale and let me go back into edit mode. So it's about uh, 4.69 meters high. So let's make sure we get that. I'm going to pull this up till we have 4.69, like that, 4.69 meters high. And now I'm going to take the whole thing, this whole thing from here. And I'm going to extrude it in the Y axis. And I think the uh, the length is uh, 1.63. So I'm going to have 1.63 about there, like that. And now I'm going to create the, uh, the cutouts in it. I mean, the cutout in it. And we're gonna press. We're gonna do that by pressing uh, Control and R three here. But first, what I'm gonna do is, okay, let me press Control and R three here like this. Okay, so we're gonna add in one loop cut just like that. And I'm gonna press Control and B until we have a a bevel with a space between them that is about 0.546. So 0 0.546. So just make sure we have 0 0.546 like that. Come on, yeah, there we go. So just like that. And I'm gonna pull this. I'm going to pull it in a Y axis closer to the other side like that. As you can see right here, you can see the inside is much thicker than the outside. So I'm going to pull it just a bit closer to the outside like that. And now the height from there is uh, 2.82. So I'm going to press Ctrl and R3 here. Yeah, I want to press Ctrl and R3 here until we have 2.82 over here. Right there like that. And I want to take these faces one. So just select that one, hold down control and click on this one. It selects all of those faces for you. I'm going to press X and delete the faces. And now I'm going to take this edge over here and press F until we fill it all. Just like that. So that finishes the first one. Now we can go on to the second one. So let's get on over here. And first of all, let me make sure the length is correct. So I think the length is supposed to be, this one is 1.63. Yeah, so that's right. So let's go on over here. Let's take this. Take this vertex over here and take that vertex. Same way we did that one. Shift and D. Press F to fill it. I want to extrude it in the Z axis. Take this vertex, press S and then Z, and type in zero. And now I want to take that face. Press P and separate the selection. Now I want to take this. Go in here. First of all, let's apply scale. Go in here. The height is about uh, 8.61 meters high. So we're going to pull this up until we have 8.61. Sorry about that until we have 8.61 just like that as you can see and now what i'm going to do is i am going to extrude this i'm going to take everything i'm going to extrude it in a y axis until we have about uh hold on let me see yeah so i'm going to extrude it in a y axis until we have about i think it's about uh, 1.9 meters long but i'm just trying to make sure Okay, yeah, so until we have a uh, one point, is that 1.1? Yeah, that's 1.1. So I'm going to extrude it in this axis until we have 1.1. Just like this. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take, let me press Ctrl and R through here. Is that it? No, hold on. The whole thing is about 1.9. So now let's take this face over here, okay? And let's pull it out until we have 1.9. Just like this. You see that? Now I'm going to press Ctrl and R3 here and then make sure we have a point 0.1 on the left side, just like that. And I'm going to press Ctrl and R3 here. I'm going to keep it 3.1 meters high and I'm pretty sure that is just on top of this edge over here, like this. Yeah. So now what we're going to do is to take, uh, let me see. I think that's pretty much it. So what we're going to do next is to take, uh, 
what are we gonna do next let me see i'm just making sure that <clears throat> you know what i'm gonna take this piece over here and i'm gonna pull it inside okay until it falls on the other side instead so let me take that piece take this piece go into edit mode and make sure i have this edge selected all right and i'm gonna take this vertex here press s and y and type in zero and so that it's on the other side instead not on the outside so i'm gonna get out of that i'm gonna take this go back into edit mode i want to take this face that face this face and this face and delete those faces now i want to take this edge over here press f to fill it all just like that <clears throat> sorry so yeah that is the first part i think that pretty much does it for those pieces uh all that we have to do is to put those stuff on top of them but now we can move on and create the rest of the uh metal plates we have going on here so what i'm going to do is let me see i think we already did it for this side let me see yeah we already did it for this side so i'm going to go into this side let me take all of this it goes all the way to the other side so i'm, I'm just going to split this one over here press v i want to split it right here and let's work on this so i'm going to press ctrl and r through here until we have about i don't know maybe 15 it's 15 enough yeah, 15 seems pretty good. So I'm going to put in 15 cuts in there. I want to press Ctrl B, Ctrl B and add in a, uh, a gap between them, just some small amount of gap, something like this. Hopefully the same amount as this one, just like that. So I'm going to press X and delete the faces. And I want to take all of them, all of those uh, pieces, all the way to there. And I'm going to extrude this. First of all, let me take a look at the length we extruded this one, 0.2 or 0 0.02. So I'm going to extrude this in the x-axis and type in 0 0.02, just like that. You can see that fills that area very nicely for us. All right, so the next one, we can actually keep this side like that because it's it's on the back of the building. We're not going to be uh, viewing that side. So I'm just going to leave that side as it is. And I'm going to move on to this side over here. Let me split it over here first. So let me get over here and split it here by pressing V, just like that. And I'm going to get over here. Now, this one, this piece here is much longer. It's about, uh, let me see. That one is 0.799 high. So I'm going to drop this down until we have 0 0.799 on the side. 799. Come on, a bit more. Just like that. All right. So you can see what I'm trying to achieve here. Now I'm going to take this, press V to separate the selection. And I'm going to press Ctrl. We have about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 of them in there. So we're going to put 7 in here. Like this. To get the 8. Just like that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Just like that. And I'm going to press Ctrl and B. Well, first off, let me take this edge over here. Let me take this edge over Is that the right edge? No. So this one right here. And I'm going to pull it in the x-axis. I'm going to press G and then X and type in 0 0.02, negative 0 0.02. And then I'm going to move it just a slight more, like that. And now let's add in that 7 loop cuts. And now we're going to create the gap between them by pressing Ctrl B. And add in some tiny gap between them like that. I'm going to press X and delete the faces, just like that. And I'm going to take all of those pieces. I'm going to press E and then Y and type in 0 0.02. Just like that. Now what I'm going to do is to take this piece over here. I'm going to press, uh, let me see. Okay, so let me take both of these and pull it in the x-axis. Is it the x-axis? Yeah. So I'm going to pull it in the x-axis to about here. And I'm going to press Shift and D and then X. And then press F to fill it. And I'm going to extrude in the x-axis 0 0.02. Sorry, I meant negative 0 0.02. So let me just do that again, extruding the x-axis, negative 0 0.02. And now we're going to take this face over here. Hopefully I can select that face. It's right in here. Let me go to face select and take that face. So I'm just going to extrude it in the y-axis all the way in there, like that. Just so it goes in there, just like that, as we can see here. Very nice. So we're going to do pretty much the same thing over here. So we're going to add in any amount we want. So let me add in 10. And... I'm just going to create the gap between them by pressing Ctrl B, adding a tiny gap between them, faces. And I'm going to take everything. And then I'm going to extrude it in the x-axis and type in 0 0.02, negative 0 0.02.
and press enter just like that all right so now the final area we have to uh, create those slabs uh, those metal plates for is this area right here so what we're going to do is to take uh how are we going to do this let me see let me get here let me take this piece over here right this one i want to go into edit mode take all of these faces that is this face that face and this face and i want to press hold on let me take a look at this all right i think we need to fix this area let me pull this in the x-axis deselect this pull this in the x-axis deselect that and pull this in the x-axis as you can see right there all right now i can take those three faces shift and d this in the x-axis all the way to here let me take a look at that all right so this one is pretty much inside pretty close like that so i'll put it around there i'm gonna press s and x and type in zero and I'm, I'm just going to leave it slightly in there like that and i'm going to press e and then x extrude this all the way here to this side like this and now i'm going to move i'm going to press shift and d move it in the y axis all the way here i don't know how far out it is but it's not that far out so i'm just going to pull this in the y axis to the inside a bit until we have a bit of a gap there just like this one and just pull it out a bit more i think that's good so i'm going to pull it in the x-axis to about the middle is that where it is yeah so to about the middle pretty close to the middle like that i'm going to press e and then x extrude this all the way out to about somewhere here no that's not enough let's add a bit more so yeah to about somewhere there let me see yeah like that all right so what i'm going to do now is to take all of the faces here I don't think there are faces there. Yeah, there are no faces there. They're just edges. So let's take all of those edges. And now, let me see. There's one more. Let's take that as well. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there's actually faces there. So let's delete those faces. We don't need them. Yeah, so we're going to take all of those. Make sure they are selected right. And uh, I'm just going to pull it. I'm just going to pull it in the Y axis. All the way inside that one like that as you can see just to create that uh, nice intersection going on here like that so what we're going to do next is to take this piece over here that is this piece that we used and i'm going to get to the front view and i'm going to press shift and d move this in the x-axis all the way here let me move it in the y-axis let me get to the top view and i'm going to move this in the x-axis but first, I need to move it underneath it. Let me go into wireframe. So I'm going to move it underneath it to about here, like this. And let me just pull this all the way to about here. And I'm going to deselect this and take this and pull it all the way out to about, I don't know, say around here, like this. Yeah, that should be good. Now let's take a look at the bottom. All right, it looks good. Now I'm going to get over here. I'm going to take these faces here. I'm going to press shift and D, rotate in the Z axis and type in 90 or negative 90, just like that. I want to pull it in the X axis just a bit, pull it out in the Y axis. Let me just take this vertex, press S and Y and type in zero. I want to take <clears throat> only that piece. I'm going to extrude it in the Y axis all the way inside, all the way into that mesh over there, like that. And I want to do the same thing here. Take both of these. Make sure this is the... Oh, this one right here is the active element. So let's press shift and D, rotate in the Z axis and type in 90, negative 90. And I'm going to pull it in the X axis just a bit, like that. And I'm going to extrude it in the Y, all the way in there. Okay, so we just, we just let it flow into that area right there. So that when we create the bigger ones, they will just intersect into it. So now we can work on the bigger ones. Uh, we're just going to copy one of them from here. That is this piece. So let me just take this. I want to press shift and D and then press X and move this all the way here. Let me get to the top view so we can do this right. So I think it's about, yeah, it's about here. So I'm just going to pull it in Y axis until it falls pretty close to the edge over there of the third inner uh, edge over there like that. And I want to pull this in the X axis until it intersects with the wall on the right, just like that. And now what I'm going to do is let me get to the top view, go into wireframe, take this. I want to press shift and D and then X. Move this all the way here, like this. Make sure the space is pretty much the same as the ones over here. 
and it's it's way too big so i'm going to duplicate that again shift and d and then x make sure the gap is not too much let's compare that and i think that's pretty good so now what i'm going to do now is to press shift and r once and uh yeah that should be good i think uh i think this this we're actually gonna have to make this one a bit longer because it's not uh, filling the whole thing so i'm going to take this vertices here let me change back to median point i'm going to pull this in the x-axis just a bit like that and i'm going to take the whole thing again press shift and d and then x pull this all the way to about here and then press shift and r just like that that gap is too big so i'm going to try that again shift and then x just a tiny bit of gap like that and then shift and r all right okay i think we have to go one more so shift and d and then x again just like that yeah all right so that is looking great that is all of the uh, metal plates that go around the uh, the building and that is pretty much where i'm going to end this part over here the next thing we're going to do is to cover up the uh, the bottom area of these uh, roof so yeah i'm going to end the next part over here i'll see you guys in the next video